I'm coming for you, sis. More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. He even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. Something seemed different. Or was it simply that she had changed? A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the a painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play an image of great, 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 an image of great, great grandfather Peter's. 200 years ago, he ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. Odd shoes, little parts of her life, still dotted their house. It didn't make it a even's mother had always painted. And she'd share with even Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night. These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her were safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the cardmakers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious... Same stuffed animal she'd given odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Whew. 
Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, sweet summer mud cake. Well, that's certainly a new tone from your tongue, Eva. There's your manners. This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family live. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except Even. Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Oh, what are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Honestly, even, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Never thought you had it in you to break a precious rule. Don't be mean, Lucky. I'm not mean. That was a compliment. I think you're cool, even. Even if you should listen to your parents more. My parents say listening to them is the coolest thing of all. You guys are so touchy. Like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll here, and I think you should give up on her, even. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Ah, uh, come on! Well, whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Random rules, even. Random rules. Wow. I see ghosts all around us, child. Ghosts of the way the world used to be. And how it could be still if the Queen would ever... You've heard the good news, haven't you? Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So... too sight That 
strange figure even knew that her fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time. Even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before or she was getting on that boat she felt a pull beckoning towards something new Some nice cards you have there, kiddo. <laughs> 